I'm going to show you how to do the cyanuric acid test with the Pentair standalone test kit. It's a great kit to have if you don't have a tailored test kit with the cyanuric acid test. It comes with plenty of solution for several tests. If you run out of solution, you can also order the refill. It comes with this really nice storage case, and inside the storage case is the instructions for testing also. Make sure you clean the test file after every test. This is one of the most accurate testing methods for cyanuric acid levels. It's a turbidity test. It's a very easy test to use. We're going to fill up to line A with pool water and then up to line B with the test solution. And make sure you start with a clean tester. And in between uses, you want to make sure you clean the tube really good. You can use a toothbrush with some soap on it. Just get it in there and clean it really well. I'm going to go ahead and fill up to line A. You want to hold it at eye level and make sure that it's right there at line A. Okay, I'm going to add the solution to line B. And then you want to use this and you want to stir it up about 10 or 12 times. Yeah, we're going to wait two minutes and we're going to go ahead and do the test. Yeah, this kit is very easy to use. We're going to go ahead and pull it all the way up until the black dot comes out. Then you're going to slowly slide it down until the black dot disappears. Once it disappears, you're going to stop and we're going to get our reading. Yeah, once that black dot disappears, you want to look through the tester here. Look at the water level inside the tester and look at that number straight across on the water level. You can see that it's about 70. It only goes from 60 to 100, so you have to kind of guess here. And I'm going to say it's about 70 parts per million. If you're doing this test and the black dot disappears before it gets to the 100 parts per million mark, that means that the standard acid level is above 100 parts per million. In that case, go ahead and do the dilution test, which is one part pool water, one part tap water. Okay, once you clean your vial after testing, you want to do a dilution test. You want to fill line A up with half pool water, half tap water, and then line B up with the solution again. I'm going to get four ounces of pool water here. So I got four ounces of pool water, so I'm going to fill up the tap water to the eight ounce mark. If I have the tap water to the 8 ounce line, I'm going to go ahead and mix it together and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the tester. Okay, my initial reading was 70 parts per million. Let's see what the dilution test shows. So I have half tap water and half pool water up to line A. Okay, now I'm going to pour the testing solution up to line B again. Now you want to mix it together again and let it set for 2 minutes. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other test. You're going to push the black dot down into the solution until it disappears. Okay, so the black dot disappeared at the 40 parts per million mark. We're going to go ahead and multiply the results by 2, which is 80 parts per million. So it's pretty close to what I got in the initial straight test. And if you do that and it's still coming out below the 100 level mark, that means that it's over 200 parts per million. In that case, you're going to do a 1 to 2 ratio, 1 part pool water, 2 part tap water, and you're going to multiply the results by 3. If that's still coming out below the 100 mark on the tester, Go ahead and do a one part pool water, four parts tap water, and multiply the results by five, and that'll be your cyanuric acid level reading. This is a great cyanuric acid test kit to get. Very easy to use, very easy to read your cyanuric acid level.